Amigos aventureros, bienvenidos a este pueblo mágico, muy hermoso, muy bonito, que se llama Bacalar. Imagine yourself in a very calm lagoon in Mexico that has less tourism than Tulum, but it has its own beauty and charm. This place is called Laguna de Bacalar or Bacalar Lagoon in Quintana Roo. This was a fort that defended the city from the pirates. It is now a museum located at the center of Bacalar and it has very interesting information. Pues bien amigos, vamos a entrar al Museo del Fuerte San Felipe Bacalar. Ahí está la taquilla y el museo o el fuerte está aquí atrás. Recuerden uh, entrar con mascarilla por fuera y por dentro. Y los boletos son 55 pesos mexicanos. Para los mexicanos y extranjeros pagan un poquito más. Walking on this building takes you back in time. It also feels like you're in a castle with the Zócalo view on one side and the lagoon view on the other. Bienvenidos al Bailongo de este lado. Estamos en una de las esquinas de este fuerte y sinceramente yo no soy para nada conocedor de fuertes, pero me encanta el diseño que tiene este. Bueno, ahorita les voy a poner la foto a continuación. Súper simétrico, muy padre, parece una rosa náutica. Y de este lado podemos ver la laguna. Bacalar comes from the Mayan Siyankaan Akhalal, which means place where reeds grow. As soon as you enter the museum, you get to see models of the ships used by the pirates. Back in the day, the Caribbean was always under attack of pirates or corsairs, just like that movie from Disney. Since Spain and Portugal controlled the Caribbean lands, other strong European nations, such as England, France, and Holland, tried to steal the resources from that land. So they sent either pirates, which were paid mercenaries, or corsairs, that were quote-unquote legal pirates that were recognized by their respective crown. You also have this amazing mural, depicting how indigenous people suffer the most because of all that greed for the local resources. This museum is a small one, but interesting nonetheless. There is information about the fort itself, fertility, sculptures, and many other artifacts from back in the days. It is a place that I would recommend to visit if you have some time and passion for history. After that valuable pirate lesson, we got hungry, so we decided to eat at La Playita. It is a famous local spot for food, very secure as we had to pass sanitation mat, spraying area, and temperature screening. It's not your cheapest option in Bacalar, but it's a very nice spot to chill and have a drink. Food was good and with a very nice presentation. The cool part is that although it was a windy day, the place was surrounded by nature, so it blocks the wind and it makes it a great spot for pictures. We ordered two cocktails, a hell margarita and a cherry cardamom with Argentine empanadas and they were delicious. Then we had a shrimp hamburger and a vegan coconut ceviche. I honestly didn't expect the ceviche to taste that good, but it did. I made 
manita, una manita, que venga una manita. Ya comimos, ya nos dieron paletitas. Ahora vamos a ver y admirar la vista. There are plenty of spots for pictures. The restaurant is really pretty, but the main attraction is the dock at the end, where you can enjoy the view of the lagoon at its best. With a beautiful Mexican flag dancing to the wind, I had to take a proud Mexican photo. We visited this place in December of 2020, so guidelines for COVID were a little bit more strict. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, the pandemic situation got better and you can enjoy Bacalar at its fullest. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and share. In the meantime, I am eating this marquesita, so don't forget to subscribe because there is more to this beautiful lagoon in the next video. See ya!